What if effects were tradable in Murder Mystery 2? So we all know that knives, guns, pets, and miscellaneous items are all tradable in the game. But what if we expanded that arsenal of different types of items and made it so effects could be tradable in the game as well? How would that actually affect the economy in Murder Mystery 2? So today, I want to talk about the pros and cons of what would happen if effects became tradable, and I also want to talk about if emotes and radio should be tradable as well, because that might be interesting. But with all that being said let's get right into it so first things first i just want to say if effects did become tradable would this end up being a good thing or a bad thing in the long run now this entirely depends this could either be a good thing or a bad thing all depending on one thing and that is duping in the game as most of us know, duping did get passed when the Christmas update did release in the game, and duping has not been a thing since 2021, which is very cool. And if it stays that way forever, I think having tradable effects would be very interesting. Having those super rare effects in the economy, like Bitsplosion and Gearstorm and stuff like that, they'll be ultra rare and there would be no way to dupe them, and there'd be less than a thousand of them in the game, and probably most of the people that have them quit the game a long time ago. So it would be very interesting seeing that. But also, there's no saying that duping is gonna be pants forever. There might be new duping strategies in the future. And if duping does end up coming back, then it'd be a bad thing for effects to become tradable in the game. And again, all the super rare effects in the game, they'd be duped and they'd have no value to them. So there are a good amount of people that are really interested in effects in the game since there are so many super rare effects. Like, even effects that I would never think are rare in the game, like, they're actually starting to become kind of rare because of how long they've been limited like for example like dark fire knife wrapper northern light stuff like that like they're actually kind of rare and there are a good amount of people with these effects in the game so if they just became tradable and then duping just absolutely ruined these items uh, it would be a little bit unfortunate i mean a lot of people would be angry about that i wouldn't be too happy about that but since we're talking about if effects should be traded loot, we'll probably talk about the other types of items in the game like emotes radios and powers i'm gonna say it right now powers should not be tradable for in case anyone's wondering, since these actually give you like an advantage in the game, it'd be a little weird if these end up being tradable things in the game. It's everything else, of course, just cosmetic, but it's actually like a gameplay change, so I don't know why these would ever be tradable, so we're not really going to talk about powers too much, but with radios and emotes, I feel like radios should definitely be tradable at this point in time, mainly because, of course, just recently, Roblox released an audio update that kind of destroyed pretty much all radios and all of Roblox. Blocks, of course, what in the world? <laughs> Murder Mystery 2 being one of those games where just radios are, you can't really use them anymore unless you just want to use like super cringe music. So I feel like making these tradable will definitely give them more of a use in the game. But you guys might think you need a game pass to actually use radios in the first place. So how would them being tradable work? Well, I did think about something. I feel like you should only be able to trade radios if both you and the person you're trading both have what in the world? I've never seen a hacker like this. <laughs> but yeah, if both you and the other player both have the radio game pass, only then would you be able to trade radios in the game. And it'd be kind of weird for you to be able to trade radios to someone that doesn't have the game pass. And without the game pass, you can't even open the radios to begin with. Like, I'll say, oh, you need the game pass to see this. And Nicholas shouldn't just lift that to make it that you can see without the game pass, because then what would be the point of actually owning the game pass to begin with? And I feel like emotes should just be, like, in the same place as effects like if effects should be tradable in the game i guess emotes could also be tradable and also vice versa if emotes should be tradable then effects should be tradable but something i was thinking about is that if they did become tradable it would be kind of weird for 90 percent of all of these items to be common you see out of all these effects there's three legendaries a couple rares one uncommon and the rest are common besides a couple christmas tiered items that doesn't really make any sense especially seeing like a lot of like the shop godly effects there was like shop godlies but the effects were in the common tier, like for example, ice magic, you need to spend 3,000 robux to get this, but it's common tier. So I did decide to do, I decided to like re-tier every single effect in the game as if they were tiered the same way you tier weapons and pets in the game. Like instead of most of them being common, they're actually like ranked on how hard it was to get the effect when they were available in the game. So here's all the effects on screen of what tier they should be. Of course, pink means godly, red means legendary, green is rare, blue is uncommon, white is common. 
uncommon. And also yellow is vintage. If you guys are wondering why Monify is in the vintage tier, the main reason is because a lot of people have told me that you got Monify from Murder Mystery 1. There's literally like no screenshots online of Monify being in the game before it went limited. <laughs> so I, I have to take people's word on it and maybe you could get this from Murder Mystery 1. I did put in the vintage tier since if it is from Murder Mystery 1, it would be vintage. And of course, these are ranked of how hard it was to actually get the items, not out of how rare they were. That's why things like Knife Wrapper is only uncommon instead of like Legendary or Godly or something, since that is kind of a rare effect. But yeah, since I did rank all the effects in the game, might as well rank the emotes and radios as well. Here are all the emotes if they were ranked in the game. Of course, there's a lot less emotes in the game, so a lot less stuff on the screen, which is nice. And of course, let's get into all the radios if they had tiers as well. There were actually some radios I feel like deserve the ancient tier, which is kind of interesting. Of course, purple means ancient. Mainly the ones that you got after buying like the ancient from the main event, like the Elderwood radio, Minty radio, Swirly radio, stuff like that. But yeah, guys, please let me know in the comments if you guys think effects should be tradable in the game. Of course, I told you what I think. They should be tradable if dupes are gone, but they shouldn't be tradable if dupes come back in the future. And I'm not trying to flex, but this is coming from someone with a lot of rare effects in the game. Like, I have things like Rainbow Fire, which a lot of people say are very rare. And even I'd be down for effects to be tradable in the game. Like, I'd like to be able to see how these things would do in the value list. And also, it could be cool to try to get Bitsplosion in Monify and stuff like that. Even though that'd be really hard to actually get in the game, I'd like to at least try. Most of the hacker. Damn. GG. But yeah, that's about it for this video, so until next time, goodbye!